Hey everybody, welcome to Dad Challenge Podcast. Before we get into anything today, I gotta tell you about NordVPN. You guys know that I love Nord. You know that we're connected, that they sponsor me here on this channel, and I really appreciate Nord. Uh, I also actually use Nord in my personal life, and my personal online activity, because I don't like when people are spying on me. And I say that truthfully. The government wants to know, and these advertisers and these big corporations wanna know what you're looking for because they wanna target you with advertising and other things. And so that to me seems a little bit like, eh, can you not? And so what I do to combat that is I head over to NordVPN and I sign up. And then I attach that VPN to six devices in my house. And it's right on top, it's right on because we there's six people in this house, computers everywhere, iPads everywhere, and phones everywhere. And I like using the NordVPN because it can put my IP in hundreds of locations. So if I want to be surfing the internet from like Iceland, I can absolutely do that. If I want to surf the internet from Australia, where a lot of my great fans are, and watch the crap that they get to watch, I can do that. And that's why I like NordVPN. Privacy is one of those things that we're kind of really, really losing, and a lot of not a lot of us are kind of understanding what that actually means for our futures. I talk a lot about privacy on here, about keeping our kids' privacy and that stuff safe, what these parents aren't doing. But one of the ways you can keep yourself safe again online is just by using NordVPN. And this thing is like an award-winning amazing program it's easy to use the the interface is simple it's just a map you just click where you want it to go and boom you're there keeps you safe and protected protect your online privacy it is really important please listen to me on this guys it's christmas it's coming up they've got a deal nordvpn will give you four months free if you sign up for a two-year account head over to nordvpn.com slash the dad challenge use the coupon code the dad challenge so they know i sent you okay they need to know that it's important and I want to thank NordVPN for sponsoring this video, and I really appreciate you guys. Check out the Nord YouTube channel below. I think I have it linked below somewhere there. You want to go check out, because they have like videos on how to and how it works, and it gets more into detail if you're really wondering. Merry Christmas to NordVPN. Merry Christmas to you. Make sure you, you know what? You don't even, just protect yourself. All right, everything comes down to online privacy. It's the last bit of privacy you can actually attain legally. So make sure you obtain that privacy for yourself and your family. Really important. Thanks, NordVPN, and uh, I will see you guys. Hey guys, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh. Uh, there's no ball today. I'm just absolutely, utterly pissed right now. And today we're gonna be talking about Liliana Ketchum. Okay, and about this idea that parents are absolutely grooming and selling their kids online. You guys know this is like this is what I talk about. But today's video, we're gonna focus on her parents and about the content that they're putting out there. This is like a Daniel Cohn style story, only younger and just disgusting. Let's get to it. So as you, I don't know if you guys know about Dance Mom Stacy Ketchman, okay? She's from Dance Mom season six to eight and her utter failure of a husband. These two parents are absolutely some of the worst people I've ever seen on the internet. And here's why. Let's take a look at her. So this is Stacy Ketchman, okay? And obviously her daughter is the center of their world because their daughter makes them bank. So in her Instagram, which is blue check marked, she's pictures like this. I won't be blanking out anything. I just, it, it takes too long. Sorry. Don't watch this one if you don't want to see blank, but she's all over the internet. It's just super inappropriate. Like this daughter, the pictures of her daughter are so inappropriate. And this is her mom's page. So now let's out of her Lily K, Lily K official. 2.1 million followers. Okay. Dancer, actor, model, TikTok. She's on TikTok and she hasn't been banned yet. It's time to go start reporting her right now on TikTok. Head over to TikTok, report her channel. She's not 13, she's 12. Needs to be kicked off just like Everly LeBrant. Needs to be done. Again, here's that whole thing. Account run by parents, like that means anything. It doesn't matter. It's still an underage person on Instagram. I don't think that they, this, I, I hope that Instagram doesn't just say, okay, that's cool by us. Cause that's not what this account is for. Look at this account. Look at this. This girl is 12 years old. 12. Demographics, over 35% adult males are looking at this account. Look at this account. This is disgusting. Knee-high socks, short miniskirts, 
Uneffing believable. I'm so upset, but that's not even the. I mean, we've seen this. Danielle Cohn has started at the same age, a little bit younger than her, actually, doing the same style stuff. This is only going to get worse for little Lily Catch. Like, look at this picture. Okay, I'm sorry. That is a 12 year old. And who knows if this was taken before she was 12? Two million subscribers. Look at this content on here. This is utterly disgusting. I don't know what else to say here, people. Like, I, I how many more? I, I'm going to expose them all. But how many more do we have to expose before people start getting really upset? Here's what brought me here. And a lot of people were saying, okay, look at this picture. 123,000 hearts. 2,255 200, comments, okay? Look at this picture. This girl is 12. Might have been 11 in this picture. No f***ing parent. I ever would ever know would ever allow their daughter to dress like this. And if you did, you would, I would not ever talk to you. I would f judge you completely. That is effing disgusting. Read the comments. Look at her comment. Feel like making a deal with the devil? Which pick is your fave? You have got to be kidding me. She could have just chose this one. It would have been um, still inappropriate, but not as bad as this one with fishnet stockings. I am so angry right now reading these comments that this girl likely has access to her account. Maybe it's run by the parents, sure. But read these comments. I'm just gonna go through a couple. Just, I'm gonna scroll through. Okay, here we go, ready? Best one deaf by Josh OG 17 Teenage boy, maybe, maybe not. Four followers, five posts. It's a predator account, okay? Act your age, you shouldn't be wearing stuff like that, right? Then someone writes this, okay, are you her mother? <laughs> okay, or says, you are not her mother. Is this Cecilia Lord's girl is all over their pages. I don't know if she's a, a troll account for the family because this happens a lot. We're going to cover that with the, uh, with the Ingams. The mother, I'm doing an entire video just on the mother, Jane Ingham. Insane that they have people that do their trolling for them. But they don't go in and delete. Here's the problem. And oh, like they just keep, it just gets gross. I don't want to say the words. Read this comment by Cecilia Lords. No, I'm just giving a daily reminder that you don't send send her and she can use whatever she wants if her parents allowed her to wear these clothes. Who are you to decide what she can and can't take? Uh, believe Unbelievable that someone stand up for this. And then she writes, bro, at the time she posted the photo, she went to a Halloween party. Did you want her to be like Princess Barbie? And even if it wasn't Halloween, she wears the clothes she wants. I hope you don't have kids, Cecilia. Oh my God. Parents who do this need to be put in prison, in jail. They need their kids removed from them. Because they don't care. Yeah, Yanni, whatever this guy's name is, I'm her foot dog. Oh my God, how old are you and why are your parents condoning this? This is sick. Your parents run this account. Sold your soul, I presume. Turn to Jesus, there's still hope for you. <laughs> don't use that because that's never going to help you. Where are her parents? This is disgusting. Her parents run the account, Snowflake says. Yep. Evil, you're telling the truth. Seek the Lord. <laughs> wow, shame on these parents. Horrible. This is where normalizing sexualizing this is where normalizing sexualization of children starts. Clearly the parents sold their kid out. Yep. You poor girl, I'm so sorry you have to such garbage parents that exploit their 11-year-old daughter. You deserve so much better. You'll be in my prayers. All grown men in here, you're a bunch of perverts. Don't expose yourself this way. This is so sick. If anyone causes one of the little ones to stumble, yeah, put a stone around their neck and drown them. Like there's just so many comments about how it's terrible. Why you got to hate? Like it's not hate. No hate, but please put some clothes on. And then this type, you're like, so good. I cannot believe this. Love the nylons. From, from like, kids. Other kids watching this. This is the problem. If kids are watching this and you guys are like, well, maybe your kids are watching it. Okay. <laughs> kids shouldn't be f***ing watching this. Parents should not let their kids see this either. She's influencing other young girls to be like her. So even if you guys think, oh, it's, the kids are on their dad's accounts. How many dads have Instagram, okay? Dads are usually the one taking the pictures for the Instagram moms. They're not the ones with Instagram accounts. Sorry. But there are. Look, I would do a lot of I would do a lot of naughty things to you in that outfit, says 420 driver 420. And they don't delete these comments? They just let them up. They just let them stay. You're the naughtiest and sexiest girl I've ever seen. Oh good god, you are too advanced today's kids, dude. Like there are predators watching, and if you, if you, I don't think you need any more pr proof that predators are watching this girl on Instagram, because they're commenting on Instagram. 
They're commenting. Lily, why are you perfect? These parents need to have custody removed. Yep. <sighs> Look at these pictures. Oh my God. And like they just keep getting worse and people just chill. You're 12. Someone says she's a porn star. She looks like a porn star. And it is kids leaving comments too. Do you have a crush on this guy? Aren't you 12? This is disturbing. Why is this child posing sexually in leather? How does this mother live with herself? I don't understand. As a photographer in the back there, taking pictures of this kid, this is disgusting. What we need to do is make it so that these photographers that are tagged in these accounts that do these professional photos, reach out to these photographers and say, shame on you for taking explicit pictures of a 12 year old girl, sexualized pictures. We need to start targeting photographers that are taking pictures of these kids. That needs to be something we need to do too. We need to make it so that photographers are like, no thanks, I don't want any of that on my pages. I want none of that. I don't want to take pictures of these kids. I don't want any of that. No no thanks. That's what we need to do too. Who's, who, what kind of, I'm a photographer. If someone asked me to take a picture like this, I'd be like, f*** you. And I would call the police. Why do they even make clothes like that for a 12 year old girl? Why? My daughter wanted high heels like last year. And I was like, no, but she wanted, she wasn't allowed to wear them out. She wanted them for a costume. I couldn't even find them. And like, where do you find custom clothes like this? Why do they make clothes like this for a 12 year old girl? Who makes clothes like this? Misbehaving with misbehaving girls. I just can't, I, I can't get over this shit. I can't, I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. They're so hypersexualized. No wonder there's millions of men looking at this page. I can't even, I'm done with it. I'm done with it. I can't even watch it anymore. What do we do here, people? I mean, we're going through here. We're looking at Stacy. Stacy Ketchman. We need to reach out to Stacy Ketchman. The analytics are here. I'm not going to say where I got the analytics, but they're 20% male on her YouTube channel alone. 2.1 million subscribers on her YouTube channel. 1.4% uh, are the teenagers in that demographic. The rest of the 200,000 males that are watching her just YouTube channel are over the age of 18. 1.1% of them being 45 to 54 years old. Males. Okay? No, it's not kids on their dad's YouTube accounts. What... Adults between the age of 45, 54 have YouTube accounts. Almost none. Okay, it's just they, that, that's a demographic that YouTube missed. So those people are gross. What do we do here, folks? I don't know what else we can do besides uncovering the analytics. And again, look at her. I went to her top video of, of her channel. And of course, it's this one with her legs like that. And if you go through her channel, let's do it together. It's the same as her Instagram. And this is her douchebag mom. And make sure you get on Instagram and you reach out to her. And we need to, I don't know. And this is her douchebag dad and her mom. I hate them. I don't, they don't deserve any respect from anybody. They actually deserve to have their kids taken away. It's almost like we should be calling CPS. I, I, I'm, I'm mind blown that the, the this is out in public and people seem to be okay with it. This dance mom's phenomenon was utter effing insatiable, disgusting, Pluto bait bullshit. Dance Moms was the worst thing to happen to television. It hypersexualized young girls, talked about being okay with doing this, and then her mom posts, look at this th thing she posts on her page. If you look at the image, she's saying, have you seen this artwork? You should, it will make you think. Maybe you didn't think close enough because you're doing this exact same thing, you're exploiting your daughter for money and fame. Literally, they have to, this kid works almost full time, she's putting videos out every single day, she's homeschooled, they're all homeschooled. Why are they all homeschooled? Because they're making content. Their life is making content. Their parents are making millions of dollars off this stuff. I, 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 what do we do here, folks? Head over to the... I think it's time to start targeting. She's, she's sponsored by Hasbro and Poshmark. First of all, let's go over to Hasbro and Poshmark and say, no more of this. You are advertising with a hyper-sexualized 12-year-old and we need to call them out. There's no other thing we can do here. YouTube clearly doesn't care to do. Maybe tweet at Team YouTube. Can you take a look at this account and how inappropriate it is and how many men are looking at this? If Team YouTube says nothing, then I guess it's time to start targeting the advertisers. That's all we can do at this point. You have to target the advertisers and say, no more of this. Although the comments are turned off in our channel, so it might be demonetized as an ad sense. I'm not sure how that works, but the they're making huge amounts of money off their TikToks and their Instagram accounts, and they're target and they're they're putting pictures of their daughter in super inappropriate clothing. This is a, this is a Daniel Cohn part two, and they're coming across like they're all okay, like they're cool parents. You need to do something. You need to go and report this account on TikTok. Go report it on Instagram. Let's see if we can mass report it. If that can't do anything, we have to start we have to start protesting like Instagram and YouTube. 
This is the only way we can do this. I'm in, the, I'm in Canada. I can't protest. But maybe we need to start, you know, you're allowed to peacefully assemble and do a protest during COVID. This, I think, is worth the fight, to be honest with you. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm mulling it about. If someone has some ideas for me, who we can talk to first before we get down to that road. But we, if we, if mainstream media doesn't want to pick this up, we need to figure out how they will. And I think, I think protest is probably one of those ways. This is a big enough problem in our world right now that it, it does, it might start requiring us to be protesting. Okay. Parents clearly aren't going to do anything about it because they're making huge amounts of dollars. They probably don't even work. We need to start targeting. We need to at Team YouTube right now. Head over to Twitter at Team YouTube. Please help us understand why you allow this type of content on your network, on your platform, when we know that Plutos are watching it. Please, can you reach out to everybody? Tweet at Team YouTube. T at Team YouTube. If you put my name in there, they're gonna friggin' shadow ban me because I'm gonna be a problem for them. Go to Team YouTube and say tag her, her YouTube channel. One of the most problematic videos, her, tw her 20 million video where she's doing a splits like this and ask Team YouTube why they're okay with this content, why they're allowing this up. Maybe that's one way to start the conversation. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to be a problem for YouTube because I think that YouTube is in the wrong here. So they're definitely not going to like what I'm saying here. Um, with that other guy, Maddie, who discovered the Pluto timestamps and stuff, he's done on YouTube. He's gone. So uh, as soon as you start making a problem for YouTube, you'll be gone. So again, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll be gone soon, but... Uh, you have to go tweet at Team YouTube. Why is this content allowed on your channel? She's underage, supposed to be 13 years old. Same thing with Instagram. Start reaching out to Instagram. If there's a way to do that on Twitter, I don't know. Start reaching out to Instagram. Next step is to, is to actually go to Instagram, YouTube headquarters, and protest. Because then maybe the news media will pick it up. I don't know. Nobody else is doing anything about this. Politicians don't want to talk about it. Nobody wants to do anything about this. So I don't know what else is next. I know I'm fiery today because this absolute utter bullshit needs to stop. That little girl is not going to have a normal life. She's done already. She's already famous. She's already, this is her life. She's already, everything's already out there. She's got hundreds and thousands of predator comments on her Instagram page that her mom just leaves up. That you know she watches. You know she sees those comments. A, no 12-year-old should ever have those types of comments directed at them in any way at all. I don't care if a parents are like, well, I can't help who watches it. Yeah, you, but you can delete the comments. At least at minimum, you know, you can take your kid to a dance competition. You can't help this creepers watching your kids in a dance. Con I get that. I do get that. Okay. But you cannot put this content out for them to ingest and then leave the comments on the page for everybody to see. This is absolutely utter garbage. We have to do something guys. What can we do? What somebody needs to come over this. Uh, uh, do I, I'll make another video. If, if we, if we can't, if YouTube wants to ignore it and Instagram wants to ignore it, unfortunately, the only other way to do this is to come after the advertisers. And a lot of people are coming after me like, don't do that because it hurts all YouTubers to do that. I don't want to do that. What other recourse do we have to get this stopped? Because nobody else is doing anything. You need another adpocalypse. Maybe call this one Admageddon because that might be the only way, but I don't want to get there yet. I still want to make sure we can open the conversation with YouTube. We can open the conversation with Instagram and TikTok and start at least start mass reporting these channels. And these Instagram profiles and these TikTok channels, mass report them. Head over to the problem with family vloggers dash the DCP. We're gonna go. We're gonna create a thread. You go ahead and mass report these, because if they can't put it up there, they won't make money. But as long as they're allowed to stay in this position and exploit their children, they'll make money, and nobody seems to care. I cannot believe this shit exists on the internet. Danielle Cohn is another story, and she's now been on there for close to four years almost five years, and her mom just continues to exploit. Now she's got a video called My Shower Routine. She's 14. When is When are we going to start really protecting these kids and just stop talking about it? It's going to take countries to like say, no, you know what? Maybe some countries have to just say, no, we don't want that content here. YouTube has to shut that content off to our country, right? There, it's very easy for YouTube to do that because I, there's, I can't access SNL skits in Canada. I have to use a VPN to get it. Because they don't act it's so much. It's so easy for you to do that. I'm going to start targeting my politicians here. Pierre Polyvev. I'm going to make a video to him. And I'm going to start targeting my politicians to say, we don't want underage content from YouTube in our country. So I'm going to start doing that in my country. Because I know I can do that. And I've got a, a decent enough sized voice that I can reach out to some people for sure. And I'm going to say, Canada, we want this stopped. We don't want this in our borders. We don't want this coming into our kids' eyeballs in Canada. We're better than this. We, we don't want to ingest this stuff. And so I'm going to do that on my end. You guys need to reach out to your MPs and your politicians and start talking about how we can stop this.
This is utter bullshit. That kid is targeted, had to be pulled out of school, is a dance mom. It's the whole issue is that this kid is not going to have a childhood. She's lost her childhood. That's the problem here. The main issue is that she's lost it all. She doesn't have a childhood. She's going to grow up rich and famous. Sure. Great. But in the end, what does that do for children? We have seen this time and again. I don't even think I've ever seen one normal kid grow up in Hollywood and fame that grew up normal. I don't think I've ever seen it. Maybe Drew Barrymore, but she went through her stuff. Maybe there's a couple. I don't know. Missing your childhood to be a famous actor messes up your adulthood. I bet you if you ask any star, childhood star that grew up in the 80s and 90s and whatever, in early 2000s now, if, they wish, if, they, if they're if they glad they did it, I bet you a majority of them would say no, they wish they didn't do it. More actors who are child stars need to start speaking up about this world. Not even about this stuff, the bad stuff, but about how it affected them mentally, what it did for them wrong, and they need to start speaking up more. I don't know what, I, I'm on a rant, I don't know what to do about this. But I'm going to start targeting my politicians ASAP. I'm going to make a video right after this one. I'm going to target Pierre Poilievre, guy. He's a pretty big politician here in Canada. He's very well spoken. And this is something I want to come after. And I'm going to start saying, Canada, we don't want this here. YouTube, no thanks. None of that underage content in our country, thanks. Block that here. You know, you can easily do that. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my money where my mouth is and I'm going to start working on my side. I encourage you to do the same thing on your side. When COVID is over and I'm allowed to travel, I think I'm coming in January. I'm pretty sure that the headquarters are all in California, so I won't be able to come out there, but eventually I'm going to make my way out there and we are going to protest outside of these headquarters when COVID is over because no one's there anyway, right? They're all working from home. But if you do a protest, it brings the media attention. So maybe we need to start protesting. Peaceful protesting. Bring your message while you're here. We're here because we don't believe that any of these social media conglomerates are protecting children and they don't want to. Because if they did they would just remove it. The next step is Admageddon, unfortunately, and that's going to affect every YouTuber, and that really sucks. But unfortunately, it's kind of the only way you get to go, but I'll be shadow banned before then anyway. That's why I'm on Rumble. Make sure you head over to Rumble. Make sure you go to my other channel, the Dad Challenge channel. Subscribe there, okay? But Rumble is probably where we're going to end up doing this fight anyway because YouTube is not going to want me coming on here and talking about how they're not helping kids. They don't like that. I'm calling them out. Anybody who works at YouTube... You are people too. You have a conscience. Remember what Dr. Kirk said? People behind the algorithms are humans too. They're as complicit in this as the parents are when they don't allow, when they allow this stuff on their platform. What else can we do, people? I don't know. It honestly, it's all about the bottom line. So we have to target the advertisers that are targeting these kids, right? Which is not an ad. I don't think that starts an apocalypse or an again. That just quietly and respectfully reach out to Poshmark and Hasbro and say, I'm no longer going to buy any of your toys or any of your products as long as you're advertising with these channels. And until you can come up with proof that we're no longer going to advertise with these channels, then I, this conglomerate of people that we have here following this movement will never buy a Hasbro and we will boycott you. That's just the way it's going to have to be. We have to target the advertisers at this point, quietly in the back end, so it doesn't start an Admageddon, right? And just say, no more, I'm not going to buy any of your products. Hasbro, Poshmark. Just see if it works. Tweet at them right now. Hey, dear Hasbro, did you know that you're sponsoring a child star that looks like, that dresses very provocatively and overly sexualized and has Pluto comments on their thing that their parents don't care about? Do you know that they're being targeted? Do you know that there is unbelievable amounts of exploitation happening to this girl and you're paying their parents to do it. Did you know that? Tweet at them. Stacy and whatever the f your husband's name is, one parent to another, you're the worst type of people in the world. You are the worst type of parent. You do not protect your child. You exploit them for money and you do all this and you forget and you just don't care. How do you justify this as a parent? How do you justify those pictures that you put on Instagram of your 11, 12 year old girl? How do you justify it? Love to hear an explanation. I reached out to her on Instagram too. I'm about to do an expose on your daughter's analytics on her, on her channel and IG. I'm wondering if you'd like to comment on the accusations that you're grooming her. You will likely block me after this, but I think it's only fair to give you the chance to leave a comment that I can read on the show. Did you know the engagement analytics on her channel are 30% men over the age of 22? Why are men watching your daughter? Why do you continue to overtly sexualize her for the world to see? Do you know there are comments in her Instagram account that are from predators? I'm sure you ignore this, but I'll be posting the video today around 2 p.m. The people in Dance Mom Stacy's world, reach out to her if you're close to her. Dance Mom Stacy's family, tell her to stop this. It's not worth the money to destroy your child. It's not worth it. It's never going to be worth it. The pressure is on Lily, Liliana or whatever her name is, to make money for her family. And she's 12. 
They make their whole career is their daughter. It's got to stop. It's just getting worse. I'm going to keep covering this. So, douche mom of the friggin' entire year right there. Stace, dance mom Stacy Ketchman. You should be ashamed of yourself. You are a terrible mother. Terrible mother. And when that girl becomes of age, you watch what's going to happen. Watch what happens to these kids as they get older. Because they end up running the show at their house. Because when the kid becomes the center, makes all the money, the kid now understands their leverage as they get older, okay? The kid then starts to be like, look at Justin Bieber's case, for example, if you watch his story. I love Justin Bieber, by the way. I've always loved him. It's just a, he's had some, again, he's just, that guy seems to me so sad right now. He loved from the age of 12 to 18, probably loved what he's doing. And now he just seems like a sad dude. Truly does. He seems like he's trying to get his life right, but he's sad. But look what happens when you put the, that amount of power in a 12-year-old's hands. 12 to 18. If you look at his story, there's things that we don't even see. But they start understanding their leverage and getting what they want based on like, well, I'm not going to do the content unless I get the thing that I want. Well, I'm not going to do that unless I do this. And then they end up becoming adults at like 13. And then like, look at, look at Daniel Cohn's, you know, she has a, she's underage and her boyfriend is 18. That is illegal. Okay. And her mom lets this all happen. These kids have leverage. They become, they become the adults. They become the parents. They become the ones that make the rules and the parents just go along with it because that's where the money comes from. That is a dangerous place to be. Those, then those kids grow up to be just like their parents and exploit their kids. And then the freaking cycle perpetuates until YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok does something about it. TikTok banning Everly's account was a good start. They just did another one. But TikTok needs to ban every account. We Every account that gets mass reported, every account that gets reported for underage needs to be banned. Go report it. I don't know what else to tell you guys. I'm sorry for this giant rant. I'm so upset. I can't believe that parents like this exist. Like, you can, you know, Micah and them did something terrible, obviously. Yes, that's ter most terrible people. You got Kendall from It's Our Life doing the exact same thing, exploiting their daughter, TikTok and all that stuff, and hypersexualizing her children, and is a, is a Christian, okay? You got people like Daniel Cohn, Jennifer Cohn doing this. To, this is the problem, is that they do it to their kids. It's not their kids wanting it. They force their kids to do this, and the kids think it's cool. Because kids think that way. I can't tell you many, how many kids I know want to start YouTube channels now because of this world. This is what the, the, the problem right now is so crazy is ask your kid what they want to be when they get older. How many kids are saying they want to be YouTubers? That is scary. Okay. Don't ever let this platform be everything to you because one day it's going to be not there. And these kids and these parents exploiting their children, it's just it's getting worse. The more I uncover the shit, I cannot believe how bad this is. I can believe it. I just can't. I can't believe this exists. I can't believe parents like this exist. This needs to be shame fest 2021. It's time to start shaming every single one of these moms. Go leave your comment on their pages and be respectful in your comments, but be like, I don't think this is appropriate and you should pretty rethink how you're parenting your child. Unbelievable. Head over to that page guys. Follow me on Instagram because it helps my voice to grow. Obviously support me if you want to help this grow because I'm definitely going to be ported over to to rumble soon enough because I'm going to be shadow banned if not booted sometime if I'm talking about arm you know admageddons and apocalypses and all that kind of stuff that YouTube does not like that it is insane we just need protections guys at minimum we need protection so target your politicians I'll do the same thing have a good day if you can after this <laughs> sorry sorry it was such a crazy topic take care of yourself your mental health and everything Okay, make sure you're taking time for yourself and that when you watch these videos and get into this type of content that you have the mental capacity to, to deal with it. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay, that's really important. All right, I'll see you. Maybe on the other channel, maybe I'll do a snark video because maybe we need some fun. I don't know, but I'll see you sometime.